Hello, happy Sunday and good evening from here. This Sunday is a good Sunday to me in a very long while. I mean, in three months since our leader was extraordinary, rendered to Nigeria. And I'm very happy as we all are that we have the opportunity to have a glimpse of at his face on Thursday. Nevertheless, I say welcome to M Special, where we deliberate on daily news as you see and read and watches, and you, the viewers, will have the final say. As you can hear from my introduction of this video, I am an agitator under Mazin Namdi Kukano, agitating for my freedom. The freedom of my people, the freedom of my children, the freedom of the ch future generation, children of Biafra. This very video, I am taking it to the head of the DOS of IPOB, as in the person of Mazi Chika Edoziem. And I would like to start by congratulating him but before i do so if you have not subscribed to m special what are you waiting for and for my subscribers and my viewers i say thank you for watching m special bring in your comments do subscribe to m special do not forget to touch the notification bell as such when we upload a video you will be among the first to see it we do upload video twice a week Depending on the news or on our time, we may upload daily by God's grace. So if you have not been in our forum, please do come in because you are highly welcome. And as you bless us by subscribing, God will also bless your good hand work. Just touch that red button down there. You have subscribed. And if you have done before on M Special, no need to do it again. So may God bless each and every one of us. As I was saying, I am taking this video to Mazi Chika Edozim. And I want to say congratulations to the latest broadcast that he gave. Why am I saying this? I like when I hear tangible points coming from him as our leader we are seeing presently. Yes, we are saying and we do say and we also know that commands come from Mazin Kukano or our, our leader. He remains our leader until he is finally out of the dungeon. But we know that the person giving order from his directives right presently now is Mazichika Edoziem. And when I personally hear Mazichika Edoziem on his own speak like a man and as a leader of this great movement, it makes me happy. It makes me proud. And that is why I am congratulating him on that latest broadcast where he made mention of if they do not leave, release our leader unconditionally, that by the 5th of November, that another lockdown will happen in the land of Biafra. We are not jubilating for the lockdown. It is all a pain to each and every one of us, but it's worth it, the sacrifice, to do for our own freedom and for the freedom of our leader who has each and every one of us in his heart, who has sacrificed everything sacrificable to make sure that his people is set free. So, Mazichika Edoziem, that being it, I am here for a special broadcast that I supposed to have done before now, but because of time, I couldn't. I, even as I'm doing it now, it's really taking a toll on my own time. But I must do it because this freedom is for me. Whatever I do is about me first, before anybody. It's my freedom. It's the freedom of my children. It is the freedom of the children of Biafra. And so, Mazichike Dozim, I will want to plead with you to control the utterances and the, because I don't call it anymore broadcast coming out from the radio Biafra. 
it irritates me that since our leader was uh, uh, kidnapped, the person and that are one particular person that handles the radio Biafra always come there to make a mess. But in this very video, I want to focus on the mess of insulting me as a woman, insulting my women, IPOB women leader in USA. And without fear and without favor, because IPOB is built by Mazin Namdikukano on a platter, on a pla on a on a platform of truth. That's why I will say what I want to say. Mazi Chika is high time you call that person to order. It's high time you let that person know the little I know. The little of my history I know about Biafra, women of Biafra are never people you told around anyhow, right from before the entrance of the Britain. The women of Biafra, of Biafra has always been a timber and caliber women, and it cannot change in this time. If Mazin Namdukukanu respects women a lot, it is for something. He saw something, and it's very unfortunate that those seen to the affairs of our freedom in his absence will handle the same microphone, the same radio that he established to promote the same Biafran women and use it as a point to insult and bring down the Biafran women without any remorse. And Mazi Chika Edoziem, I want to use this, my very video, to tell you to please call him to order because I, he called himself the commander of uh, Eastern Security Network. And I can bet to him that if he is put on ground, that he will not even stand what those men are standing in, on ground in the Biafran land. I call him a benefactor, a benefit, a bene, a benefit, a bene, a benefactor of our movements with all what we have seen. But that's not the point now. The point now is call him to order to stop insulting me as a woman of Biafra. Call him to order to stop insulting the women of Biafra using Biafra platform. Stop, call him to stop insulting the women leader in USA. Whatever he things has gone wrong, he must know how to behave himself. If he do handle his own wife in his own home the same way, every woman is not the same. And Biafra women in general, including his own wife, deserve his respect. It is time that we call a spade a spade. Because Mazi Chika Edozim, if you are not condoling what he is doing, you would have, before now, called him to order. Why did I say this? Because in every broadcast you make, every broadcast you have made in the past, you must finish it by pointing finger on the women in USA. That is my own side and my own opinion. And if you should finish it by pointing finger there and not seeing that things are going wrong, by insulting do, do, from those that are insulting those women, then you are happy with them. That is my own opinion. And that is why I am directing this video to Mazichika Edozim to please call those people in order. Call that man in order to stop from insulting the Biafran women, anyone from any corner from Radio Biafra. He has made Radio Biafra what is not supposed to be. It is not a place of quarrel. Radio Biafra is a place of unity. It is a place to bring tangible and intelligent opinions. It is a place of education. Since Mazin Namdukukano left, he has not done any research. He has not come out to tell Biafra people something that we can see and say that this come from his own personal research and truth and intelligence. Yet, he is always on the radio 
ranting and insulting the women. Today be it the last, we must not take it again. He is living in the West and he knows what the Lord says about women. It's because we are doing this and we are calling it, it is a family thing. If we, the women of Biafra, take it upon ourselves to take him up personally on his own utterances on Radio Biafra against the Biafra women, I don't think he can survive it. And that is why I, I personally has come to seek your own leadership control on Radio Biafra, to call him to order, to stop and stop now insulting of the Biafra women, especially our women leader. If he has another agenda and he is not happy, then he must let us know because it is only somebody that is evil or somebody that has an agenda that will see where things are going right. He will go behind, he will support that, he will confront, he will destroy it. We have had evidences of people that he have made private calls to only to destroy those that are speaking the truth on Biafra struggle. He must stop because it is time he has to or he will get it on another side. He must stop. We, this is a family something. He shouldn't push anybody to do what is not right. At the same time, he must know that he is living in the West where the rights of women are paramount. And you, the leader, Mazichike Dozim, has to remind him in case he has forgotten. Thank you, Biafran people. Thank you, great women of Biafrans, especially our women leader, Bridget, Mrs. Bridget Okafo. God bless you for all you are doing. And we all shall see and enter Biafra as our leader will be released soonest. Who only can do the impossible? Thank you and God bless you.